we have a triangle, ABC, and then we're told the side length, so AB is equal to 3x, and then AC is equal to 2x, and then we're given the angle in between those two sides as well, 60 degrees. We're told the area of the triangle, and then we're asked to work out that x, so the x that we have here and here, is equal to 2 root 3. So, the area of a triangle, we can use this equation, area is equal to a half AB sine C. There is also the equation area is equal to half base times height, but in this case, we could have a base, yes, 2x or 3x could represent one of the bases of our triangles, but then working out a height it has to be a perpendicular distance from the line AB to C. That would be a bit long, so it's easier to just use this equation here. So that equation, half AB sine C, you can use that when you have two sides and the angle between them, which is what we have in this case. So if you were to have a scenario where you had, let's say, these two sides, but then you were given this angle here, you wouldn't be able to use half AB sine C. It has to be the angle in between the two sides that you have. So then our area is then going to be a half multiplied by the two sides that we have, so 2x times by 3x, and then multiplied by sine 60. So if we simplify this, if you were to do a half times 2 times 3 times sine 60, you'd end up with 3 root 3 over 2, and then the two x's multiplied by each other give us x squared. So that's the area of our triangle. We know that this is also equal to 18 root 3, so then set this equal to 18 root 3. The root 3's cancel. Okay, so I'll bring the 2 to the right-hand side, so we get 3x squared is equal to 36, and then divide by 3, we end up with 36 over 3, which is 12, and if we square root both sides, we end up with x is equal to root 12, which is 2 root 3. For part b, we want to find out the exact length of bc. So to do this, again when you have two sides and the angle between them, you can work out the opposite side by doing the cosine rule. So that equation would be a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So let's label our sides. Let's say that this here is A, which corresponds to this angle A as well, or this corner A. The side A should be opposite the corner A. And then we can call this C and then this B, which works out nicely because we are trying to work out side A. So then putting all of these things into our equation, we end up with A squared is equal to B squared. Okay, so B is equal to 2x. We know that x is equal to 2 root 3. So then we can combine those two things and we get that this side here, 2x or 2 times 2 root 3 would be 4 root 3. And similarly, 3x or 3 times 2 root 3 would end up being 6 root 3. So then a squared is equal to b squared, so 4 root 3 squared plus 6 root 3 squared minus 2bc cos a. 2 times b, which is 4 root 3, and then times by c, which was 6 root 3, and finally by cos of 60. So then, a squared, if you type this whole thing in, would end up being 84. And if we square root both sides, we end up with a is equal to 2 root 21, which is our final answer for b.